No one ever forgets what Ryan did and the sacrifice that not only he gave, but for our family. Um, the most important thing out of this is the children, and they no longer have a father. So that is what people need to remember, is that they lost someone, and they lost someone on a daily basis. And uh, there's a lot of normal families, not just myself, we're from a community where we have lost so many. And um, everyone can go back to their very lives, but just everyone needs to remember that there is a war going on and that we're losing someone every day and our world is forever changed. And now that we have the magnanimous task of recreating a life that we built together and trying to figure out what to do. So um, it's a challenge every day, um, but something like this just shows us that there's so many good people out there. They think the world of uh, the military and people like my husband and uh, he was the, like I said the cream of the crop and I hope no one ever forgets that so. How does it feel to see so many people show up? It's, it's incredibly moving. Um, like I said the last time that I was back here was for Ryan's high school graduation or reunion, 10 year reunion. So um, we you know just got a snippet of the of the town at that point but just to see that many people um, come out and uh, half of which don't even probably don't even know Ryan um, just to know that there's that support um, it just Somehow it gives us some strength to move on. It helps give me something because I need that strength on a daily basis to just to pick up and keep moving um, for the children. So, um, on her, yeah, yeah, and it's I, I well I think it's very rare, um, but it just shows to what an amazing man Ryan was. Um, like I said, we were talking. His entire career was active duty combat. Um, he never took a like a couple years off and got to hang out. We, he was fighting all the time for this country and there was incessant sacrifice, missed birthdays, missed holidays and like that. I was with Ryan for his entire career. Um, I met him before he even became a SEAL and Bud. So we went through it together and it was, I don't know, it was a, we believed in what he was doing, he believed in what he was doing and we believe in this country. So um, he just didn't make it home. Man, when I did when I did that um, story last that year and I talked to some of his, of his, high, of his high school friends Stuff, they really de 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 ascribed him as a driven person who really un understood what it meant to try to get what he um, what he uh, was wanted. Yeah, he uh, was. He had the utmost perseverance. He would. Uh, he knew what he wanted, and he went after it. And that includes me. <laughs> so <laughs> we met. We met at the worst time when he was about to go become a SEAL. So it's kind of hard to bring a uh, full-term relationship into a, a career like that. But we were in it together. Um, and uh, he built the family he wanted. He had a great life. He was doing everything he wanted to do, and that's one of the only things that gives us comfort is that he was one of the happiest people anyone would ever say. They saw he uh, loved his family, he loved me, and he was doing a job he loved, and not many people can say that they do a job that they love on a daily basis. So um, I'm thankful for that, and I hope that the, the post office and uh, the highway will live on for eternity, like I said, and remind people of what an amazing man he was. He lit up every room, and uh, he... Uh, there wasn't a soul who didn't like him, so he's larger than life. He was loud. Our family's loud, and we're going to continue to be that way. You know, and, and I, the uh, fo photos that we have seen, he had a huge smile. smile gleam, yes. Gleaming, gleam, yes. Gleaming white teeth. Yes. Yes. Um, um, yeah, he was... Oh, uh, well, he's picture perfect. I don't know. <laughs> he was a beautiful man. So, um, I don't know. But what were you asking about the building I earlier? Say, what would Ryan think of all this? I think, uh, I think he'd be so proud. I mean... I don't know. Like, I mean, it, that's the one thing about being in the career that we're in. Um, we don't speak out. You know, you just don't. You're under the radar. And um, to have an honor like that, I think he'd be so moved and just so, so touched, um, especially coming from like his, uh, his high school town and stuff of that nature. And like I said, we're in Virginia Beach now. That's where we lived and that's our hometown. So thank you very much. Um, I don't know. I just I wish everyone could meet meet the man that he was because he was amazing. And we were so, so close to the end. Um, he almost had his 20 years in. So. Um, it's, for anything, it's just my children to know what amazing man their father was, and um, they, they at least, I'm thankful for the years that they did have with him because they have so much of his personality, um, and they know who their father was, and they had a lot of great memories, so that's what we have to cling on to. So thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Take care.